Hi and welcome to this introduction on how to use the Manifold UV node as well as the Image node that are included inside of the MAR Extension Pack 3.0. So for starters let's create a uh, procedural node. In my case I'm going to create an FBM and I'm going to view it by pressing 1 and you can see uh, a procedural here and by default it's evaluated in 3D space meaning that there won't be any seams between UV borders. Now, if I create a manifold UV node and attach it to the node, you can see the look changes quite a lot. And that is because the node is now evaluated on a per UV patch basis. So uh, I can change my repeat, I can rotate it around the center of the, the patch and offset it as you would any 2D image. Now, Attaching a manifold UV node to another procedural or another extension pack procedural, I should say, is the same as turning on the uh, UV space option in an extension pack procedural. But it has the benefit that you know you can create multiple nodes. So, for example, if I even create a standard Mari node that doesn't have any UV space or transformation support for that matter, and I just attach the position node to the manifold UV and view the cloud node, you can see now. Even this cloud node is uh, respecting the UV transformations. And you can override the translation and rotation, so it's a scale on the manifold UV, just as you would um, on any other node. Um, scale in this case is the repeat UV, by the way. And this is, for example, useful if you need a different tiling factor for each UDIM. So you can create a mask and uh, output a value to the scale and basically change the repeat on a per unit basis. Now another case where the manifold UV node comes in handy is when you have different tiling images. So I've got two channel nodes down here and um, let's create a tiled node for each. And I'm just going to add a merge node so it shows up in my layer stack. Okay, a merge node and a tile node here. And now let's add an image to each of these tile nodes and view the channel. So let's say I want to change the repeat on this color image, but I also want the displacement to stay in sync. So now I would have to previously go in and you know take this value and paste it into the other node so both are the same. Now if I take a manifold UV node, I have a central place where I can control both nodes from. So I can attach this manifold node straight to the UV input of the tiled node. However, this is a very inefficient way of using your resources because the tiled nodes have, you know, they have their own repeats, they have their own offsets and everything. So all of these options would be evaluated regardless um, while still being you know, mainly inherited from the manifold V node. So all we really need is an image node. So extension pack three comes with does that, just an image node that offers you to plug in an image and adjust the filtering. And let's create a second one. Plug in our maps. and hook up the manifold to both image nodes. And now when I change the manifold UV node, both the color as well as the displacement are always in sync. So, and I've got, uh, since I've added a merge node on here, I've got a representation of it in the layer stack. So if I name this, you know, this. I have something that I can see in the layer stack, even though there's a bit of a black box behind it in the form of the manifold UV node. So these are the uh, some of the usage cases for the manifold UV node, as well as the image node. Um, yeah, that's it. Enjoy.